just did the Firefly two miler uh, at the Butler Farm Show grounds in Butler, PA. Obviously, um, it was a night race. Uh, started actually at 8:20. It was supposed to start at 8 o'clock, but there was rain and some thunderstorms that came in um, and some lightning, so they pushed it back by 20 minutes. Um, it was still raining the whole race, but I'll tell you what, it was a really fun race. Um, I definitely recommend this race for next year if you get a chance to do it. It's a, Well, this is a Wednesday uh, evening, 8 o'clock race, so I know that's probably not doable for a lot of people, but you definitely don't want to miss out on this race. I really enjoyed it. It's on the farm show grounds, whatever, I can't, I don't know how to say it right or how they actually want it to be said, but um, you run on some asphalt, you run on some like dirt and then some grass fields, and it's really fun and awesome with like the mix and only being like two miles. Um, like I said, it's, it's just really fun. Um, competition was pretty good tonight. I finished third. I think I got under 12 minutes. I, I don't know what the official time was. I know when I stopped my watch, Probably like 20, 30 seconds after I finished, I was I just hit it, uh, 12 minute mark on my watch. Um, so it should be a little bit under that. Um, I think I led for like 1.3 miles and I started fading a little bit. And then once I got passed by the kid who won, I was sort of uh, done, I guess. Like I was starting to feel it in my legs a little bit, and then I got passed again. Probably like 10 yards from the finish line, some dude sprinted it out. Um, I didn't really care today because I didn't have nothing to do tonight and I just wanted to come have fun and it was in the rain and um, I actually GoPro'd it. I'm actually, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come tonight because I actually wanted to GoPro this race and see how um, it looked at night. So I'm kind of interested to get home and actually look at it and see what it's uh, about, see if it came out any good or not. Hopefully it does because um, like I said, it was just a fun course. It was lit up the whole race um, with... LED lights, foam things, so you didn't uh, worry about t making a wrong turn or getting lost. <clears throat> so you could see pretty much the whole way. If it was at 8 o'clock, you could have seen a lot better. Um, but at 820, it was a little bit harder. But with the LED lights, there was no issues whatsoever. Um, and they were along the whole course. As long as you kept them to the right, you were fine. Um, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it tonight. Like... Even though I finished third, I got passed by my one buddy, and I don't know who the guy was in second. Um, but I just enjoyed myself. I think I really needed this tonight. I'm glad for the competition. Um, I didn't even know, like, he was that close behind me until about a mile in when we passed the timer. He's like, oh, there's a battle. I'm like, oh, shit, there's somebody right behind me. Um, but, yeah, like, I'm trying to think what to say. Um... I know like in the grass portions, I tried to stay in the ruts, or not really ruts, but like there was a little bit of grooves because they went in, uh, on the course to reactivate some of the lights, probably like 10 minutes before we started, because uh, some faded, so they reactivated them. And so those ruts from the car in the grass actually made it pretty uh, runnable during the race. So that's what I did in that portion. Um, there was a couple times I was like, whoop, it's like my knees, I don't want to say buckle, but like you could just feel like a little bit of dip in the grass that you didn't see. Um, but not that that was a big deal. Uh, I don't know. The dirt, I don't know if there was really dirt, dirt, but more like the asphalt. There was some potholes you had to watch. And with it raining, uh, I was trying to um, miss the big puddles. That really didn't happen after a while. And then I just basically ran through a bunch after a while because my feet my body was just drenched so there's really no point trying to actually avoid them um, I mean it was easy to follow and it was all around the uh, farm park uh, you know, I mean I definitely again like I definitely check it out for next year I do like it a little bit darker that we started a little bit later I think it made it more fun running more in the dark that's just me. I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, it was a good crowd, a fun crowd. Um, it was chip timed. 
There was something else I wanted to say. I don't know. I think I did swear on the GoPro a few times. Um, like when I dipped down or when I saw some lightning still on the course. Uh, but all oh, the shoes, that's what I wanted to touch on. I didn't know what shoes to wear coming in. I just wore my like everyday road shoes for training. Um, I didn't want to bring my Saucony Endorphin 3s because when I saw grass, uh, gravel, dirt, I was like, man, I don't want to get them tore up being like $200 shoes, $250. So that's why I wore my everyday. And I didn't want to do trail shoes because um, I just thought it'd be too much. Like with the asphalt, it might slow me down. Um, so I just figured like, the little bit of grip I do get on my uh, everyday trainers was going to be the right choice. Um, I actually think it was the right choice, but I know some people that uh, wore like some Nike Alpha Flies and stuff, and they said they didn't have any issues tripping or sliding. I just didn't want to risk it, but I guess if I would have worn my Endor for threes, I could have finished probably like 20, 30 seconds sooner, but. That was my choice, but I, I definitely think I made the right choice in the end. Um, I don't know, because I just, yeah, I just didn't want to tour up my good shoes. And I wasn't really coming to win today. I was more, again, coming for uh, the GoPro action and having fun. Um, and I'm glad there was some, some good competition there. Um, even though I wasn't really aware that uh, first was right behind me. Were that close, <clears throat> and then getting past at the end, I was just like, eh, no point in pushing. But I don't know. I just overall, I definitely enjoyed it. And we'll go back. I just think it was a fun time. So if you get a chance, check it out. Uh, well, I can't reach my metal in the back right now, or else I would. But um, yeah, definitely a fun race.